Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. It's Guy and Sandra. That's right. And I usually never wear my mask, you know. <laughs> she does. But this time, just because so many are watching, I'm gonna just say, I got a mask. You do. So, it's been about a couple of days since <clears throat> we, since I had the other video. Yeah. And a lot's happened. And um, so I got Guy here because there's been some kind of like big, you know, new, no, you know, as they say, novita, news issues, but it's kind of great to have someone explain it. So why don't you start with telling us about what's happening in Calabria, mm. which is the toe yeah. of Italy. Yeah, before you get to Sicily, you get to Calabria. Let's see if I can watch this. Yeah, you get to Calabria and it's a wonderful region. By the way, when I was growing up, we spent three years in Calabria and uh, and for about the last 12 years, there, are, there had to be a supervisor for all the health department of Calabria. Just think that there are 14 uh, hospitals that are closed and all kinds of corruption. And to make a long story short, they had to fire the, 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 the first supervisor about uh, two weeks ago. And uh, then they, had to, they fired the guy that substituted him and the third one, who's the, uh, the president of uh, the most popular university in Italy and the largest in Europe, uh, Tor Vergata, which, Tor Sapienza, which is right here, uh, La Sapienza University in Rome. And uh, he accepted after 24 hours, uh, he rejected it. The reason is that it looks like nobody is clean. <laughs> Living in a culture like ours that's been corrupted for so many years, it doesn't take long for these people to get in power and then after two or three days um, the media finds out all kinds of, uh, of hidden things you know in their lives so can you imagine in the middle of all this uh, uh, crisis and COVID we still do not have uh, anyone that is managing the emergency in the in uh, in the region of Calabria and they showed pictures of makeshift rooms with just a filing cabinet, no running water, and a chair, and that's where they're doing the COVID testing. Yeah, that was uh, like a couple of years ago. Uh, they also, a, a couple of days ago, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the COVID is just getting into my head, you know. <laughs> uh, the, other, the other thing is, uh, is uh, the, uh, the, the main uh, uh, friction that you have between the governors and the mayors of every city. Oh, this was and, amazing uh, last and night. So, yeah, to the point that the president of Italy, there was a big uh, meeting with the, all the representatives of like the different states. Like a Zoom states. call, like a big Zoom call that they and, televised. And the president of Italy just, uh, it looked like uh, some kind of uh, a professor, just uh, discipline. No, no, <laughs> it students. felt like, you know, like when, you know, teachers would get all their kids and say, okay, which one of you did it this time? Yeah. And he literally had to call everybody and you could see their faces a lot of them kept their masks on which they didn't need to just to cover their expressions well but he just says that's it you guys better you start cannot, working together because right. we have a nation to save so to make a long story short you know never before there has been a need of honesty integrity and uh, uh, you know community sense of community yeah as you know Italy has been very weak uh, to have a sense of unity. And we, uh, we become one when our soccer team wins the World Cup <laughs> or when Bocelli wins some kind of a prize, you know, then we're all Italians, you know. And, uh, but the bottom line is that we are so different. We do not have the spirit of unity. But you know, that's, that's something, Sandra, that unfortunately I, uh, I see uh, it's, it's more common around the world. We're losing a sense of a community, of brotherhood, camaraderie, being together. And in times like this, I really feel uh, this is very important. Isn't you it? know, you know what? It reminds me of uh, when I first, when we first, when I first got married to Guy. Um, he went to show me somewhere that was just absolutely incredible, and it was in um, in a small village town in Sicily called Marsala, and there was this. Uh, there was this little island called Mozia, and um, this is where they do the salt, so it looks very much like Greece. 
and um, we we took a, a, a beautiful little horse-drawn carriage, you know, eating grapes over the water because you needed this carriage, this horse to take you to this little island. And from that island, um, embarked on an incredible journey in the in the 1800s, around 18, I'm not sure about 1865, 18, 1859, 1859. This man named Garibaldi, um, he went on with a thousand people. With a thousand people, he wanted to unify Italy. Now, up to that point, you think, oh, Italy's a thousand years old. Yeah. It's 2,000 years old. It's the Roman Empire. Uh-uh. We were all divided. They were all divided. They even spoke different languages. And they were all ruled by the Spaniards, by the French, by the, the Prussians, the Prussians, everything. And, and the Vikings so, for the Vikings. 300 years. And so Garibaldi <laughs> went to create... Italy. Right. But when he finally went all the way up and united Italy, the first prime minister of Italy, which was Camillo Benzo, Count of Cavour, uh -huh, Cavour uh -huh. said the famous words uh, that are real even today. Now that Italy's won, we got the biggest challenge. We got to make the Italians won. And, uh, you know, America can be won, but we need to make the Americans won. Exactly. Families supposed to be won. But we got to make them one. Exactly. I mean, the whole idea of, uh, in paper, you know, it's one thing. But the reality is, unless you have uh, healthy relationships, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, so we, we kind of <clears throat> want to challenge you. Guy um, did something really great. He did, instead of lockdown, let's do look up. And um, a really neat video. And if you haven't seen it, go back and go onto Guy's page. And... Last night we had some numbers, and so we had over 732 deaths, deaths so and 32,000 new COVID cases. Um, and mind you, you're talking about a country that has 5,800 um, beds for um, you know intensive, uh, intensive care. care. So that's why these numbers mean so much. They're like the very first one. So last night. And I want you to pray. This is what we want you to pray about. We want you to, you guys are so awesome. I love hearing from you. But one of the things that hit us that was we were watching a movie. We're trying to not watch COVID. It was late at night. We were watching the news and it would come out these, you know, like when a hurricane's coming, they got the news alert, alert, alert. Well, there it went across the page while we're watching this movie. We need right now, please. If you are a retired or a specialist doctor, we need 450 doctors now. Mm -hmm. We'll pay for your trip. We'll pay for your lodging. We'll pay. We need you in Naples now. What is that telling you? That's Those are Naples. just doctors. That's in Naples. We're we're talking Naples, but that is the, you know, photo, you know, clip of what is happening in our and and our and our true concern. We are positive because we have amazing people like you guys that are with us. We know you're going through, you're going to go through tough times in America. But one of the things that I think is the most positive is that we have each other. Mm -hmm. And let's be like that Garibaldi. Even if we're a thousand people with some positive, let's try to make something positive. And I want to leave you with this. We've had, we've had a really great experience with an incredible singer called Andrea Bocelli. I'm sure and, know him. and I'm, I'm sure, sure you know, know him. him. And we've gotten to be part of his foundation doing amazing stuff. But he is launching right now. Uh, the, and because God has just done something so powerful in his heart. And it's a new album called Believe. And um, I just I just think that we need to really follow suit with that. Try to find, even if it's a grain of salt, a little seed of positivity of something to believe in, to put our hope in, and um, you know, just just to give to others, even if it's a smile, a telephone call, whatever you're doing, uh, fruit, you know, piece of uh, making a second meal for somebody and bringing it to them. Um, think of that. Anyways, we love you. We are.
Guy and Sandra. Guy and Sandra. <laughs> from Italy. From, and, uh, from Monteporcio and Catone. We are not yet in total lockdown here where no, we live. That's right. We still, so we're the only we still, uh, region. Yellow. We're, the only we're still region. yellow. We're, we're still, still yellow. yellow. So that means we can and, get around. Uh, right, right. But everything is red around us. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we don't know when so, that's going to come down. Anyways, it's coming down. Love it's you. Down. Love you. Hear from Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.